What is up guys, Noon here with MMO Play bringing you a first look and impressions video of Sword and Potions 2. This game is a single player RPG and the basic overview of the game is you're a shop owner, you run a shop, and you make items to sell to potential customers. Now as your day goes on, customers will come in, in and out of your shop requesting different items or asking to be sent on a quest, allowing you to be brought back money and different items to keep expanding and building your business. Now as you can see here, customers are continue walking into my store, asking for different stuff and as long as I have them in stock, we can sell to them. Now if we're running low on an item, you can assign an employee to basically build more or create more if you need them. So it looks like we're only running, we're running very low on the healing herbs here. We only have one left, so we're going to select that and he's going to start working and making more of those. Now we're gonna have our blacksmiths continue making more plain swords because those seem to be very popular. Lots of my customers have been requesting them as you can see right here for example. Someone came in and is looking for one. But we got a little timer, it'll be almost done so we'll keep her waiting just for a few minutes. We're gonna tell her to wait. She's gonna happily wait for us until that's over allowing them to pretty much stay in the shop a little bit longer without walking away angrily. So he wants some iron braces, we got three left in stock, so we're going to sell it to him. And he walks away happy. And as you can see over here we have the timer, and the timer basically is how long the day is. Once the timer is up, the day will be over, and it's going to show you a summary of what your general profits and top items you did for that day. Alright, the day is over. Here's the summary for our, summary for our day. Here's today's total profits our top selling items, our top buyers, and most used resources. So once you've overviewed that, you can go ahead and hit next, and in the beginning of the game, it's going to bring you to a lobby where you can go hire more employees if you have the money, and then later on, it's going to bring you to this map over here, which is a little town, and the town is basically different locations where you can open up a shop. Now, the more money you get, the more stores or bigger locations you can open but we do not have too much money right now to open up a shop looks like we almost have enough for this little place over here but we're gonna go ahead and pass because we do not have enough money yet and we're gonna open up our regular shop all right a new day has begun and we're gonna send our people to work continue making more swords and we're still running low we're running low on a little bit of everything so I guess we'll start with the healing herbs person's requesting a sword I told you guys these guys are these swords are pretty popular, so we're going to ask her to wait, and she'll wait for us. We got the timer going for our sword, it'll be over soon, and then we'll collect some money by selling it to her. Now you can see we have special items, which will, which is pretty much, um, you can spend real money on the game to get more resources, more items, and stuff like that, but only if you choose to. You can mostly obtain every item in the game by just playing and investing some time into it all right so we have the sword created oh we do not have the sword created so we're gonna have to keep waiting she's gonna keep waiting for us so we're gonna have this guy make another sword as that's going he'll make it and then we'll be able to sell it to her she wants a club all right we're gonna sell that to her happy doing business with you and she walks away happy we're gonna keep having our guy over here create more items. We're gonna have him make another club. We only have one of those left. Our sword is almost done over here. So you can see that. In the bottom left hand corner you can see our resources. Every item you use to make um, requires a different amount of resources and different types of resources. But the more you use it, the more the number will decrease. But it's okay. Over time, the resources will come back. So you can see, if you could see them, you got the little timer going. Alright, this guy wants some iron braces. We're selling quite a bit today. But we're running out we ran out of iron braces, so we're gonna have our store owner make some more of those. And we're gonna have some more plain swords being made. As we're working on those, maybe we'll have one or two more customers come on in. But over other than that, our day is pretty much over, and we're gonna go over with the summary and show our pretty much our day's um, worth of work. Now we have our summary. You can see today's profits, 140 gold top selling items different from yesterday it's okay things will vary day from day as you keep playing our top buyers and most used resources go ahead hit next and it's gonna ask if you want to buy any of these locations 
don't have enough money yet, so we're going to continue and open our shop and continue playing. Now this game is um, it's pretty fun. It's a good time killer if you guys are looking for a little game when you're bored. Looking for a little something to do. I would recommend this game just to, just to kill some time, I would say. But other than that, guys, that's pretty much the general overview of the game. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. And until next time, guys, I'll talk to you later.